In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to show you how to use some of the pre-designed shapes to augment your titling process. Oftentimes, when we want to add a shape, as I might in the title you see on the screen, I simply click on Add Shape. And if I click a rectangle, we'll try that for now, all it does is it adds this shape here, this white rectangle in the middle of the screen. Many users don't understand we have a lot of other options besides doing that one. I'm going to right click on it and delete that shape. Now I'll move my playhead to the beginning of my, uh, of my project here. And what I want to do is load a different shape. So I can go to my library tab in the upper left side and I can click on shapes. I can click the down arrow and I see the two options I have here or I can click on the folder whichever I prefer. I'll click on rectangles here and I see I have a whole host of shapes. Now when you use the button in the main window this is the shape it picks automatically. But you're not limited to that. You can load any of these shapes. Let me show you a couple of options that we have here and we may spend a couple lessons looking at all of these. Let's try this plate chrome shape. I'll double click and it will load that in the center of the screen. Now in version 1.5 it only defines it as shape so I have to make sure I'm on the right track when I'm using it. Right now it's my top track. I don't want it on the top track. I'm going to drag it down and um, put it lower here. And now what I want to do is put it behind Save Big This Week. So I can take it and I can drag it. And I can resize it either using the mouse like this. Or if I want to tweak it a little more or a little less, I can go over here into my position, my XY, and uh, use the either the up and down arrows. Or I can use the... Uh, drag the slider. No, that's not too bad. Save big this week. So that augments that particular item. Now if I think I want it smaller, I can click back on the shape again. If I can remember which one it is. Let's see. There we go. And I think I'll make it just a little narrower. And then position it a little bit. So you can tweak it all you want and fine tune it over here on the left side. So that's a little bit different. Now let me show you another shape that we have here. I'm going to click on my library again. And we have some rectangles. Let's take the uh, plate soft blue. I'll double click on that. And it adds this rectangle. Uh, I'm going to again take the rectangle. Make sure I've uh, lengthened it to the full width here. And then I'm going to move that in the, in the um, background as well. And I'm going to shrink it quite a bit. And I'm going to take this and we'll move it under my Richland furnishings. Now I can go ahead and with the object here, it's easier to use this uh, item here. I can rescale it. Uh, I can reposition it. Uh, let's go ahead and take the the Y scale. I can thicken it or, or, or that's about right. And let's take the X scale and make it a little bit longer. And then we'll move it to the right here. I want the G to hang in front of it. And so I think I'll make it a little, uh, um, a little taller yet on the Y scale. Uh, Okay. There. That's about what I want. And I'm going to shrink it just a tad. So this gives me an option. Oh, maybe I want it wider yet. That doesn't look quite right. Okay, that's enough for our illustration. So this gives you a way to go ahead and use something that's not a line and not a square 
this actually is a gradient. Now if I want to change it, I can click on the Style tab once I get back into my shape here. There we go. I can click on the Style tab and I can change the gradient. I can change the texture. Um, I can change the opacity, uh, layer depth, anything I want to. Uh, because now I have con total control. Now you could write one of these, create one of these uh, from a default, the default square white box. But this gives you a way to start in order to make some changes. So you can turn any rectangle, I'll go to, back to the library, any rectangle, any object here in the rectangle box, especially the larger ones at the bottom, into a, a shape or even a line. <laughs>